Hi there, in this video I'm using Arches Pro. It's actually the new um, recently released version 3. So this is Arches Pro uh, 3. I've just got a basic license. And um, what I wanted to show you was table to domain tool because that's a great way to create your domain uh, that, that you're going to use in your um, database, in your workspace, without having to type everything in. So I've got this uh, layer of um, pubs here and if I uh, click on one you can see that uh, there's the name of it etc these are sort of selection of pubs or restaurants in um, Leicester uh, and what I'd like to do is kind of add a field that m maybe gives the main theme like uh, you know sort of um, from Italy or something or um, India you know some kind of country code literally that um, for each one a again this is just a, an example of how to use it so what I want to do is attach one of these to um, one of my pub or restaurant um, points. So you can see how I've got this list already created. So these are the IBAN list with the two digit codes. So you've got AF there and um, Afghanistan. So I've got my, effectively I've got my domain there and I don't want to type in the code description, code description, code description. I don't want to really do that thank you very much I'd like to bring that in all automatically and make Arches Pro do the hard work which it will do so let's just close that so find the tool by typing in table 2 and it's table 2 domain is what you want that's the tool so click on that now the input table is the CSV there it is so you can see IBAN country codes.csv that was a file I had open it's got two columns that's okay it reads the CSV. What's the code field? Well, it's country code. That's what I've got in the first line of my CSV. And um, description field, country name, the input workspace. So let's just go to the project database. I don't mind what that is. Less GDBs by. And domain name, domain description. So domain name, let's, let's just change that. Let's put that as um, sort of in. in, in country IBAN codes make it something a bit more useful and so you can change it right let's hit run so I've got all my settings there let's hit run so this goes off and creates the domain for us you see look it's already completed so let's just look in data and click on domains oh I, I'm, I've got some previous ones there from my previous work but look in here I've got my code and my description the domain already created so you can you can see it all in here that, that like I said that's all your, all your data you can set the policies and stuff and then just add that domain to your um, data design to to a field or whatever and off you go and you didn't have to type in anything I hope that uh, is useful thanks